Welcome to the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach Special Interest Group meeting. It's the 9th of September, 2021. Uh, here's our proposed reminder that we adhere to the Jenkins uh, Code of Conduct and be nice to each other. So topics that I've got on the agenda for today, KubeCon, DevOps World, Contributor Summit, Hacktoberfest, elections, and outreach programs. Alyssa, is there anything else you'd like to add to the agenda? Uh, no, I think I think uh, the items that I needed to cover are under, we can cover it under DevOps world. Oh, great. Okay, well then, let's go right there. I've not done anything on Cube, KubeCon booth support, so no progress. Um, yeah. I, I, and right now, I've I got no time to make progress, uh, so I'm hoping that Jackie's got it covered without me. Okay. Uh, DevOps world, then go ahead. All right. So, um, DevOps world, um, the Linux Foundation will be delivering Jenkins Pipeline Workshop. That's for free. Oh, we good. have. Yep. Yeah, so I right right before this meeting, I was slacking um, with our events manager, and she confirmed that she we we will have that workshop at DevOps world. Um, so that's good. So um, she just needs to do the back end stuff to get the workshop content up on the website. And then we'll send out an email um, to registrants to let them know of the workshop availability. So to have that to get them to register. Um, we still we will have the Jenkins Contributor Summit on October 2nd. So that is still being uh, worked on by the events team because they are a little bit behind. The person that was responsible for all the web update has been off until like yesterday. He just got back yesterday. So he's got a lot on his plate, but it's on his to-do list. He will get the contributor summit up soon. Um, um, ah, and then yesterday, I was also informed that there will be um, opportunities for um, kind of like birds of a feather uh, networking um, type deal. It's, uh, I think she said it was like um, 30 minute sessions for networking, but uh, they're looking for subjects and subject matters who wants to um, lead the discussion. All right, so if we, uh, if I were to suggest some topics, for instance, if we did configuration as code, if we did a uh, pipeline, if mm -hmm. we did Kubernetes, if we did, and yeah, Kubernetes, if we did, uh, what do you call it? Maybe um, securing, I'm not sure securing Jenkins would be a, a topic that I could find somebody for, but it might be a topic of interest. Are yeah. those the kinds of things you're looking for or? I think those are very relevant. Okay, all right. And, and I guess really, because this is DevOps world and not Jenkins world, we should say Jenkins yeah. in each case, right? Because we don't right. want people to think, oh, I'm gonna go talk about Kubernetes in general. No, <laughs> good, yeah. okay. Okay, um, let's see what else. You... Oh, oh, maybe uh, Jenkins and inclusive naming. Mm. I know that we have a session on a breakout session at DevOps World on that, but this this is just um, perhaps. Oh, on this one. Okay, yeah. so maybe not a already have a breakout session. All right, good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, do you want to um put names next to those uh, those topics and maybe I can reach out to those folks and see if they'd be interested in leading those discussions, Mark. I can I, help I out can, in that way. Good good idea. I can offer some suggestions as mm -hmm. possibles. Mm -hmm. I can't promise you that they'll say yes. Right. And so, so that's a dangerous thing. You might ask Tim Jacome uh, okay. for configuration as code on Jenkins Pipeline. You might ask Joost van der Grint. Okay. Uh, or possibly uh, Darren Pope, mm -hmm. or possibly me. 
I'm not as credible as those other two, but uh, let's see, on, on configuration as code, Tim Jacome, Oleg Nanashev might be willing to host a session on it. Mm -hmm. um, the Jenkins on Kubernetes one, I don't actually have anybody to offer there. That's it. For me, it's sort of cutting edge and I'm not on that edge yet. Okay. Uh, securing Jenkins, that one might be Mark Wait, Vadek Falonia. He and I did a talk two years ago at, um, at uh, in Nice, if I remember correctly, on that topic, or it may have been three or four years, I guess that's three years, three or four years ago now on securing Jenkins, and he might be willing to, to talk further about that. Uh, Jenkins right. and in, oh and, and this one we don't need because it's already in yeah so yeah. so if you if you are um, interested or if they are interested or willing mm -hmm. that would be great um, let's see who else might might be a possible maybe oh yeah uh, Tyler Johnson maybe I, I don't I know if he's his contact information yeah so and he may not be he and i he and i had, actually he and i did a talk on pipeline uh, a few years ago mm -hmm. and and but so let's start with those as right. possible ideas Alyssa. and mm -hmm. and any one of them may tell you no and i okay. i would understand entirely if they said no but yeah. but it's it's worth i could possibly help with this one although i'm really I feel very much like a novice at this one. I'm certainly a user of it, but I'm mm -hmm. a novice compared to, particularly compared to Tim. Tim okay. really knows how to use it well. Okay. All right. Okay. Yep, thank you. I will reach huh. out to those folks. Great. Uh, anything else on DevOps world? I think that's that's it. We we currently have over nine thousand registrants. Um, Great. Yeah, yeah. Jenkins booth. We will have a booth, and that is still being worked on. Um, they have yet to set up the 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 virtual page, uh, the virtual booth for me, like the page. So, I will need actually with that. I will need volunteers to see who is willing to. Um, want to staff the Ask the Experts booth um, or time. Good, okay. So yeah. we can, um, would you be willing to ask in community.jenkins.io? Absolutely. And in the, uh, I'm not sure if it's better that probably the Jenkins users list, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure that the, the developers list maybe? Yeah. 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 I, 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 yeah. Just having okay. said it, maybe that, that does make sense. Yeah. Okay. Great. Anything else there? Anything else on DevOps world? I think that's it. Okay. Then contributor summit. So, um, on on my side, we've got we've got the thread started in started in community.jenkins.io, and it needs more organization and organizers, etc. Uh, this will be a different one because it really is Asia Pacific time zone, right? It will be mm. seven o'clock a.m. UTC. Yeah. Um, and um, Mark work with APAC contributors, or maybe it's invite, um, encourage them to promote it, et cetera. It's, uh, this is, part of me is a little worried that this one's challenging because we've never done Asia Pacific before. And right. I don't know that we're going to get hundreds of people to attend, but, but we could. So, it's worth, even if we get a few, we'll, we'll run it. We're gonna have fun. Do, do you have anybody that's helping you with the organization from APAC at the moment, Mark? Not yet, looking for someone, looking for, so I guess uh -huh. I guess I should say it differently. Yes, we've got help from, um, from... Rick? 
No, not Rick's yeah. Rick's expressed interest, but hasn't offered to assist with organization yet. It was it is Diraj, Diraj Singh mm. Joda, who has been involved. And Aditya Srivastava was interested, but has a schedule conflict that won't he won't be available. So, so I've got to go recruiting more people in Asia Pacific to assist. I think that Owen Mahagan may be a may be a good mm. candidate. Yeah. Ryan Scholl uh, out of Autodesk may be a very good candidate. And I'll I'll neighbor with some others in hopes of finding additional. Okay. I wonder if um, like are the folks in China, the folks who always organize the Jenkins user conferences over there. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm still in contact with them. If you'd like me to help and reach out and then. Oh, that um, would be great. Okay. Um, and then the folks over at Tech Matrix has always been helpful. Um, oh, they yes, are yes. big fans of Jenkins. Well, and, and that would be great because they're a strong representation in Japan. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. Okay. So I'll reach out to those two um, organizations. Super. If you could point them to, to the conversation in community.jenkins.io, that's the place where we want those, those discussions to happen. Let me put a, a hyperlink in this so that okay. you've got easy access to it. It Thank is. You. That'd be helpful. There we go. Jenkins Contributor Summit. Yes, mm -hmm. here we go. All right. So to community.jenkins.io. And is it okay if I make this a hyperlink and you then yes. send them the hyperlink? Great. So topic, great. Excellent, okay. Okay, good. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being willing to do that. Okay. Um, anything else on DevOps World or on Contributor Summit, rather? No, I think that's it. Still, I've got some work to do. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of work for all of us. That is for sure. Next topic then is Hacktoberfest. Uh, discussions have also started, or no, I take it back there, the, the organizing page, page has started at uh, www.jenkins.io. And there are additional efforts, efforts uh, inside some companies. So for example, I've followed a strong organizing effort that's happening inside CloudBees. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, looks like they want to be involved much more broadly this time. Nice. Uh, so that those plans are starting and running. We will introduce it at the Contributor Summit. We will certainly introduce it at, the, um, at DevOps World in the contributing to Jenkins track or not track in the contributing to Jenkins workshop. Yep. Or sorry, and maybe, maybe I've titled that wrong. Is it contributing to open source workshop? I forget the exact title. But... Yeah, yeah, me too. Okay, so I'm gonna call it contributing to Jenkins for now because that's how yeah. I'm framing it. Okay. Great. Um, there's still a lot more to do there and Diraj and Aditya were both interested in, in helping with that. Uh, there was a request, would we consider offering additional swag uh, to Hacktoberfest participants? As part of Hacktoberfest, those who successfully complete it will also receive, will receive a t-shirt or a planted a tree planted on their behalf from the Hacktoberfest sponsor organization, DigitalOcean. One of the questions was asked, would the Jenkins organization or would any contributing companies like to 
like to contribute? And could you put that on the, at least on your consideration list, Alyssa? Now this could be hundreds and hundreds of people. So it may be as simple as send them a sticker in an envelope. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure we want to go as large as a, as a t-shirt that's pretty expensive, but, but if you could consider that, that would be a, a what options do we have that are reasonable costs, et cetera. I'd be interested. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I will um, give it some thought. Great. Um, so there, so there is some interest in providing additional swag to Jenkins contributors. And one of the one of the challenges here is we've got lots of ideas for ways to people for ways that people can contribute, and I mean lots of them. But there are crucial things that we need in order to make those contributions successful, like someone contributed it, but now we need someone to review it, merge it, and release it. Mm. And that's a different different person who is also a valid contributor to Hacktoberfest. Sure. Okay, great. That's all I had on Hacktoberfest. Any questions there? No, no. So, okay, so this would be specific to Jenkins contributors during the Hacktoberfest. That was the idea. Okay. Is this this is there a way we could do is there a low cost way we okay. we could or would like to provide swag to Jenkins contributors during Hacktoberfest? And if there isn't, the answer no is perfectly acceptable. No, I I think I'd like for us to do something. Um, yeah, uh, just the challenge of, you know, sending a bulk amount to one location to, is easy. Right. Sending, sending <laughs> individual shipments to individual people all over the world is right. nigh unto impossible, right? It's, it's not yeah. just hard. It's very nearly impossible. It's so it's hard. It's challenging. Right. Yeah. But I would so, like for so us to if, do it though. Well, and, and if if you if it's something as simple as, hey, if they'll give us their their mailing address, Mark will put a sticker in an envelope in a U.S. postage envelope, address the, the thing to them with an address label, and put enough postage on it to get it to them internationally. That's already pretty cool. You know, we could yeah. write a letter in it and say, hey. And that's that's probably not costly. It's a little bit of a hassle time wise, but it's mm -hmm. not not costly. Just if you're interested in those kind of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I no, I think we're uh, we would be interested in 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 um, sponsoring some kind of swag and send it out. We'll right. bite the bullet on the hardship of. Uh... <laughs> well, it, it's hard to collect. It's difficult to collect the names and addresses. It really is. It's just. Yeah, there are all sorts of challenges there. Oh, oh yeah. I don't think I've 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 come across once where all the addresses that I've received is perfect. So like, wait, oh, no. that <laughs> never, never going to happen, right? Never yeah. ever going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on Hacktoberfest then? No. Okay, elections are coming. So oh my um, gosh. it was approved by the governance board. Um and that's really great. Uh, so as a, as a quick summary, it was September for um, to register voters and accept nominations. Okay. Wow, the year goes by so fast. It does, all right. Uh, and that may spill into some in October. October, right. and now this is where I really do need to use let me just bring it up. So we're already in September, Mark. So is there like a certain date in September for? Yeah. So it probably won't start till mid September. So, okay. so let's, let's phrase it differently here. That's good. Good clarification. September, mid September to mid October register voters. Right. So let's yeah. let me, I'm just going to drag in this, this example here and then I'll link to it. Oh, come on, you silly thing. All right. So this is the that's the community.jenkins.io one and the governance board meeting has a summary of this that, that we quickly put into the notes and it was here.
And what it summarized was this. Register to vote by joining this group on community.jenkins.io. Then the committee has the option to remove people if someone who's ineligible registered. Then nominations for roles, either officer or the board positions, are sent to this other group on community. Nominations in September and it's slash October because it's we will keep it open for one month. Mm -hmm. Voter registration in September slash October, again, open for one month. And then send ballots out October through November. And then December, announce the results. And officers and board members start, I believe it's December 30. Yeah, so then I don't need this note. So yes, it's kind of, Olivier Vernin is running it. I love, I love the technique he's using because it's actually very simple to go to mm -hmm. this location and click this button up here. Okay, I'm gonna do the click. Mm -hmm. All I do is come here and I click this button join and I'm now part of the voters. Oh, wow. So, love and then that. to, to submit a nomination, I go to this one and I can ask to join. I don't want to join. They'll tell me no, but I can send them a message mm -hmm. just by saying, and here I would say nomination for uh, the documentation officer. And I can nominate myself or I can nominate someone else. So mm -hmm. I nominate. as this other thing mm -hmm. and and there it goes and it goes to them and they can they will accept many nominations they'll listen for nominations they the nomination is not public because after a nomination period or during the nomination period they will check with the candidates that are nominated to confirm that they are willing to accept the nomination so they won't disclose publicly that i nominated mickey mouse for instance or something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. It's it's much more elegant than past solutions. This is really, I like that. It it just feels much more smooth. It does easy, right? I like exactly. Easy. Yep. So so nomination and voter registration, and then ballots go out, and then results and actual brought into the system in December. All right. Now, in terms of the last item on my agenda was just a status report on outreach programs. Mm -hmm. um, this one, I don't have anything additional to report on campus programs. I think it's that we need need more discussion with with Diraj yeah. and Aditya yeah. in case we can leverage some of their experiences with the Google programs or others. Right. Then Google Summer of Code has finished. Cara de la Marque will be preparing a summary blog post. Mm -hmm. um, great with that. And She Code Africa Contributeth on 2022. I've not made any additional any changes there. We do plan to participate. Uh, we know we've got some things we need to tune and improve. And uh, Mark's and uh, Zenob's talk at DevOps World is recorded and ready. And I think Zenob is also speaking separately at DevOps World, isn't she? Yes, she does have a, a session. So we've got two cases where she's she's speaking and, and that's really great. And I also believe that, that She Code Africa is receiving a donation from, for, from DevOps World. Oh, good, all right. Yep. Excellent. That's great. Yep. And and the funds to help that initiative are wonderful. That's really, really great. Yeah. It's not big, but it's something. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. And then if if we plan to support um, 
sponsor uh, she code africa's events next year uh let's keep that in mind whether we should do it again or not because when we get towards the end of the year we start talking about budgeting oh oh right right yeah well and and so the jenkins project definitely well the jenkins project has every intention of being involved with she code africa Mm -hmm. Next year, it would be great if we could also do this, uh, if, if CloudBees, for instance, or the, or the Continuous Delivery Foundation, or both, mm -hmm. were willing to sponsor again like they did last year. Yeah. Uh, that would be a great help. Uh, it, was, it was a little bit surprising, actually, to both Zenob and to me that they found it even more challenging to find sponsoring open source organizations than sponsoring companies. But sponsoring companies are crucial because without the company sponsorship, the open source sponsorship doesn't matter. Right. We have funds. Right. Great. Excellent. Okay. Now, do you have regular talks with Zenob, Mark? Or? She and I talk roughly once a month at the okay. documentation office hours on Thursday. Okay. Okay. No worries. I, um, because I, I, I contact, I, well, I have her email address so I can reach out to her to see if, you know, if there's any um, changes in their sponsorship levels for next year. So we can just plan ahead. That's all, but I can oh, reach good. out to her. Yeah. Yes. And that's, that's a, that's a good one to ask her because I don't, the, the details of how they're running next year's program will sh will be shaped by their experience running the 2021 program. And so they right. may well change sponsorship levels. They may change you yeah. know, dollar amounts at various levels. All good things to check with her. Yep. Great. Um, the other is that there was a there is a Linux Foundation mentorship potential for documentation. Mm -hmm. It starts in October. We're just not ready to uh not ready to join it not prepared we just don't have enough bodies to yeah. to launch into something like that um i think we should consider uh joining the next cycle where that's probably three to six months away mm, okay i i'm just i'm not ready to to sponsor it in october just don't have the time to prepare yeah yeah Anything else? Mm, no, but I do have a question for you. We can take it offline. Okay. Well, or or if if it's okay, let's just stop the recording and then we'll yep. we'll chat. Okay. So recording is now stopped.